Government boasts of not having to pay back over $839.9 million in debt, while giving the assurance that additional budgetary support will be received. Leader of government business in the Senate, Minister Simon Steele, in presenting his contribution to the debate, highlighted this debt stock reduction, among other gains, under the Homegrown Structural Adjustment Program. Grenada has received to date a debt stock reduction of over $200 million. $200 million now taken off of our debt stock. A further reduction of $158.3 million is expected upon the successful completion of the program in 2017. The resulting cost savings in terms of debt service payments is calculated at $481.3 million. Mr. President, what this all means is that Grenada will not have to pay back over $839.9 million of its commercial debt. Minister Steele also reiterated that $60 million in additional support is expected before the end of the year. This is an addition to the $193 million of direct financial support already received since the start of this program in 2014. The sixth and final review of the homegrown program will be completed around June of 2017, at which point Grenada is scheduled to receive further payments of $28 million from the IMF and the European Union. However, the debt reduction figures presented in the 2017 budget statement, according to Senator Nazim Burke, do not add up correctly. So, in 2012, the debt as a percentage of total expenditure was 39.5%, 404 million. This year, the debt as a percentage of total expenditure, 433 million, 39.4%. After you say you save, you got a 50% haircut, and you save 839 million. In other words, the debt that we're paying, as a, uh, both in terms of numbers and in terms of percentage, the debt that we are paying now, in 2017, as it was in 2012. Burke also challenged government's claim of receiving grant financing. Right, they're boasting about grants and how they approve the approval of the IMF and the World Bank and this and this and this and this and this and every year the numbers they're giving us for grants is a big joke. Mr. President, this year the government projected that they would receive $201.6 million in grants. In fact, they collected $94.8 million. Senator Burke remained adamant that the present administration should take responsibility for racking up a substantial amount of the nation's debt over the years. In turn, Senator Steele reminded the former administration of its mismanagement of the country's assets during their time in office. Tony Julian for GBN News.